primarily an opportunity for coders, developers, programmers to come together for an intensive period of time, normally a couple of days, and to intensively work together to make stuff, to try things, to make new prototypes and experiments. What's interesting for us here at Watershed today is that we're taking classical music itself as the subject of the hack. We're particularly interested in how audiences can find a more intimate experience with music, how we can create something that's more immersive, closer, more intimate, more intriguing, using all sorts of creative technologies at our disposal. Today, nothing is out of bounds. Uh, in principle, obviously, uh, we have to be uh, careful with this, but in principle, nothing is out of balance for us, so just go for it with us. Performance for us is a creative thing. Mainly what we do is working from uh, notes on the page, but for us that's just a starting point. That, that's the map, and from that we need to build our interpretation. We, we need to build a piece of music from those instructions that communicates and that's relevant. This is probably the most exciting thing actually we've, we've ever done as a quartet because we've never worked with people with technology. As the player moves the light shines down exactly. through the F holes yeah, and you get these beautiful uh, sort of uh, shapes appearing and sweeping across the instrument with the movement of the music. It's a chance for us to explore all kinds of things that we could do with the quartet using sensors, cameras, microphones, robotics we've got going on. Well, working nicely. Oh, <laughs> and then I'll do a, a large, a large one. I didn't have a specific idea when I came in. Uh, I was just going to see what happened. The music feeds the imagination, so you, hit, you listen to the music and that, that leads into what you're going to do rather than having a technology that you want to use and then fitting that around the music. Rather than project it onto a surface so you look at the projection, it's uh, using the projector as a light source out through smoke to create volumetric shapes. This is a hack. <laughs> been thinking about generative ideas for a composition. We've taken uh, an improvisation uh, from the lead violinist as a source for pitched notes uh, which then um, are harvested at the beginning of the piece and then populate the whole score with those notes. It's a generative and um, reactive piece of music in a way, and it's printed for the musicians in traditional uh, um, notation uh, immediately. It's been fantastic uh, working here. Daniel and I have kind of locked ourselves away for part of the time. We've also come into this big room and we're being surrounded by people who are really inspiring us and willing to collaborate and share ideas and technologies and, and us with them. If it speaks to us musically then we're really up for doing it. <laughs>